Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by. Today I will be showing you a poncho that I crocheted. And this poncho is very versatile. You can wear it many different ways depending on your attire that you're wearing. Whether it's casual, business, or maybe you're going on a date or something like that or who knows but in any event i will be showing you many different ways that you can wear just one poncho you can just change it up switch it up all you want and you'll be able to have a different look and a very good look each time okay so i'm going to show you the next way that you can wear this poncho stay tuned okay as you can see this is one of the other ways that you can wear the poncho okay it is quite versatile so you'll be able to just switch it up every time depending on how you want to look for your occasion okay i'm going to show you another way that you can switch it up Okay, so here we go. Another way that you can wear this poncho, like a scarf. As you can see, you can change it all different ways. Wear it however you want. It is your sense of style. Okay, I'm going to show you another way. Okay, and here's another way you can wear the poncho. As I said many different ways i'll show you another way and here we go another way versatile so versatile and i'm versatile as well and how i can crochet many different things okay so i use this needle it's a 3.0 millimeter crochet needle and i purchased this needle at Walmart also I used a yarn which is similar to that color okay so this is a similar yarn but this is the actual brand that I purchased it's called knitting yarn and I paid a dollar ninety-nine at a local dollar store um, they did have like quite a variety of different colors in this yarn it is a hundred percent acrylic and it is very easy to work with I'm just going to show you the stitch that I use to complete the scarf so this is what it looks like okay let me see if I could put it closer so that's what the pattern looks like. It is a very lovely pattern. Let me pull my camera away so you can see much better. So that's what the pattern looks like. Okay. And I will just show you quickly how I was able to join this when i was finished crocheting so what you're going to do is you're going to crochet a rectangular shape and once you have the right size rectangular um you're going to wrap it over your body like from one shoulder and under your waist just to see how it fits um just to get the right length depending on your measurement and then I'm just going to show you with the paper towel. Once you crochet your rectangle, you're going to... So this is your rectangle. And when you're done crocheting, you're going to fold one end. Okay. And then you fold the other end. Like so. So you're folding. And you're folding. And then you're going to join here. So you're joining it here. And then what you have 
is something that looks like this so it will it should look like this at the front when you you join your rectangle after you're done crocheting your motif and then you'll have something that looks like this at the back okay and um, you can use single crochet to join your project when you're done okay so remember to like share subscribe hit the notification bell and remember you can drop by my channel anytime invite a few friends and remember to hit the notification bell subscribe and until next time many blessings to you and take care okay bye for now until next time so stay tuned there will be many other videos i will be working on a tutorial soon and um just stay tuned okay it's been crazy busy at work and um i've been quite exhausted i don't have it in me really um to crochet but i know that it is something that's relaxing but sometimes i tend to fall asleep while i'm crocheting if i'm too tired and i don't want to crochet and make mistakes because sometimes if you're not paying attention and you're crocheting and you make one mistake and you continue crocheting then you make more mistakes and then you have to go back and pull out the entire thing and recrochet all over again and i don't want that i need to be in the right frame of mind to be able to crochet meaning my mind should be at ease and not exhausted and stressed okay so please bear with me i i'm keeping you entertained by doing these videos but i will have tutorials coming up soon okay as promised okay so take very good care of yourself and those around you and until next time I will have more videos. Take care. Bye for now.